Good day, my name is Panagiotis Christostomidis and we welcome you to our Alumilcal Tips and Tricks webinars. The webinars are organized by Alumil Academy in cooperation with the Alumilcal department of Alumil. In the last episode, we covered the quick and easy construction of windows with Alumilcal. Today, we will see how we can construct doors in Alumilcal quickly and easily. Behind the scenes, colleagues Vasilis Kerestegis and Christos Karanikolas are ready to answer your questions. During the presentation, you can ask your questions by clicking at the questions and answers icon at the bottom of the screen. You can then type your question in the window that opens up. Let us now start with creating our door construction in Alubilcal. I click at new and the create new position window opens up. In this window we must choose which system we are going to use for our construction. For our convenience the system has already been saved in our favorites. We choose the favorite and we notice that we can choose not only the system that we use but also some system preferences. We will see shortly how useful that is. Now we click OK and we go to the next screen where we need to determine the geometric specifications of our grid. Our grid will have 5 fields in width and 2 fields in height. Our total width is 5 meters and the partial width of our door is 1200. The rest of the fields I'm going to leave at A, meaning automatic, because I want them all to have the same width. Our total height is 2700 and our top height is 500. We are now ready with determining our grid. For the next step, we must choose which insertions will go into each field. We can either choose each field and then choose the appropriate insertion or, like in Windows, we can Control A to select all the fields. Then over this field, with control click, we deselect it. Now all these fields that are marked in red need to be made fixed. This one is going to be our door. It is not going to have an escape door function, so we just click OK. At this point, and thanks to the system preferences that I have chosen to use, I just need to choose the bottom configuration color. On the right side of the screen we can see a preview and here in this field we can choose the distance between our bottom configuration and the floor. If we click 5 for example we see that it goes up. Now we click OK and we see that our construction is ready. And this is because in my system preferences I had chosen to use specific construction properties and specific profiles. The next step is to choose the glazing. A project glass had already been created with a filling thickness of 24 millimeters. This project glass has automatically been inserted in all the fields of my construction. I just now need to click next. Next takes me to the step of choosing hardware. Now I will not use any hardware packages and I will choose this closer drive. For door hinges I see a few categories. If I want I can choose to see only the category I am interested in. If I go to type and I click this category I see just the hinges I'm interested in and I see now I want this color. Here I can choose how many hinges I will use in my construction and I also choose where to place them. The first option automatic means that Alumilcal is going to choose 
the number of hinges automatically. The good thing about this option is that if the door changes the dimensions, the hinges, the number of the hinges is going to be recalculated by a Lomilcal. For now, I want to choose my hinges manually. You can see that Alumilcal has already placed one hinge at the top and one at the bottom of my door. I need to insert another hinge here and I will do it by using the leaf height as a reference. I will see that this hinge is going to be at this distance. And I also want to insert another hinge at this distance. Now I can just click next. Here at the door lock I see again two categories. This category at the bottom is a lock with rollers. I will choose this lock here. This is going to be my striking plate. And here I have to choose my handle. It is important to note that I can choose to change the way I see my accessories. Clicking here at display options I can choose to see pictures or I can go back to the list view. Important also I can click with uh, the right uh, button of my mouse and add a specific handle to my favorites. This will go at the top and it will stay there so that I can easily choose it the next time. For the handle outside, I can either choose a new handle or the one that I chose to be inside. Here at spindle list, I have this marking here as inappropriate. This means that because I have used two handles, Alumilcal is recognizing that this spindle is inappropriate. I need a double spindle because I used two handles. Similarly, choosing the cylinders here, I see that this one is inappropriate. This is because Alumilcal is calculating the centers of the lock and the profiles used and is marking this as inappropriate. I choose this one. I will not choose any pull handle, neither it inside nor outside. And here, I have already chosen all the parts that are needed and I can click accept. A few things, a few points of interest here. Now that I have chosen all the hardware that is needed for my construction, I can choose to save this selection. I can choose to save it because if in the future I want to create another door like this one, I can automatically click this hardware package and all the accessories will be inserted automatically. I click here at this disk and I name it S77 door and I can choose to save this hardware package only for this project or for all projects. OK, it has been saved. And now here this folder icon is activated and this is showing me all the available hardware configurations that I have created. Another point of interest here is that I can choose to import hardware from a construction in another project. I click import, I navigate through my project and choose the hardware that I want. After I have chosen the hardware, I can take a look at all the accessories that are going to be used. Here at piece list, I can see them analytically with their icons and with their specific uh, codes. One last point of interest here, I can change the handle height. I can either type in a number or choose one of Alumilcal's presets. Now what I want to do is I want to choose new hardware. I go to this button here and I click it. The first thing I see is this hardware configuration that I had created a few moments ago. 
if I want, I can choose this hardware configuration now and all these uh, accessories that I see on the right side of the screen will automatically be inserted into my construction. However, I do not want to do that. I want to go here. And now, I want to choose this electronic lock. I go to next and now I choose my drives, I choose my hinges, I choose them automatically. This is my door handle here, you see it is at the bot at the top of my selections and this one as well. No pull handles. And here I have to choose where the cable insert is going to be. I choose 300 and next. For the electric control unit I need to choose a profile. I choose this one. I say that it's going to be on the inside and at this height. Now I click accept and I see that Alumilcal is giving me an error message. This error message is telling me that the cable insert is overlapping one of my hinges. This is a very good warning message because if I was to machine that profile the machines would overlap and that would be a problem. I can now choose to change the cable insert height or just finish my position. If I click finish, I go back to my project screen where I see my finished construction. At this point our presentation is over. We will stay until we have answered your questions. This presentation has been recorded. A mail with a link will be sent to you where you can watch this recording and register for upcoming events. We are looking forward to having you at our next webinar called Constructions with the Series S700. Have a nice day.